Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make Godspeed and this is a Hunter x Hunter concept. So if you guys are wondering where I got this idea from, it's a Hunter x Hunter concept and I got this from my suggestions inside my server. So if you want to pick what our next video is going to be, join the server down below and you can be you can pick our, our next video. So let's get started into this code. So the first thing you want to do, we're going to make an effects photo where we're going to be keeping our aura. And this aura, let me put it here so you guys can see it. It's basically going to be a little lightning effect that we're going to be adding to ourself and the, per, on the people that are getting hit inside the radius. And put that back to the folder. We're gonna have our event. We're gonna have a remote function. We're gonna have our creator. Uh, we're gonna have our creator. Our remote event. Basically, that's gonna be part of our little module that we made. And the module that we made for the creator is ours. It's made by our partner Striker. But yeah, our partner Striker, uh, Suver and Striker Scripting. That's our full uh, scripting name. If you didn't know, so our creator module is our creator uh, event is basically made by our by our, my partner Striker. And this is all made by him. So, and we'll be explaining this in, inside of the um inside of our Discord. So you can get more information about this and how to use it. So yeah, and our debug tool is also part of the module as well. So yeah, we're gonna have our events, and that's basically all you're gonna need to start the script off. And almost also, do not forget that we're gonna make a folder. It's gonna be a GS folder, and the GS folder is gonna maintain our main script and our local script. And we're gonna have our tools, which is gonna ha we're gonna have our tools which have nothing inside of it. We're gonna name our tools Godspeed Mode. With little brackets on the side, we're gonna have move one. All right, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna get replicated storage. We're gonna get basically we're, we're gonna just get our service. So we're gonna get replicated storage, our tweet, and we're gonna get Debris, and we're gonna locate our tool, which is in our starter, and which is in our starter pack. We're gonna locate our our um our other move. So what what our first move is gonna be when we activate our Godspeed tool. We're gonna get the player by just doing dot parent dot parent of our tool that we have inside our hand. Then we're gonna get the character, and then we're gonna get the humanoid. Then we're gonna make our debounce table and our effect on table. Then we're gonna get our moves table. Then we're gonna make it. Then we're gonna add another moves table inside of. The, we're gonna add a table inside a table. You don't have to do this, but if you're gonna add more moves, I would suggest this. So that's why I put a table inside a table. So you can just do uh, moves one. You can add another table, add moves two equal to a table, just so it can be a little bit nicer, more neater. But that I, that's how I would uh, suggest you to do it. So here we're gonna have our mouse range. We're gonna have our cooldown duration and uh, move one under store cooldown. So basically, self-explanatory here. Now we're gonna have our movement. So what we're gonna do to be resetting the movement or keep the movement going. If you want to go, if you want to stop the player's movement and uh, if you want to reset it back to normal, and then we're gonna make our function called apply particle. And we're gonna, then we're gonna fire value and duration. We're gonna basically loop through the value, which is gonna be the character, and then we're basically gonna be applying the effect on them, and we're gonna parent it to them, and then we're gonna uh, then we're gonna wait the duration to so whatever the duration is, and then it's gonna then it's gonna remove from them. Then we're gonna have our knockup. We're gonna have target duration, the strength one and the strength two. So basically, we're gonna be using body velocity, and then we're gonna find the um the target. So the character, a uh, father's child, uh, human root part. Then we're gonna change their max force to one 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 times a hundred thousand, or I think that's a mass of one million. And then we're gonna do effective velocity. Then we're all we're gonna do the same thing here with one one one. So it's all around, it's all across the board. And then we're then we're gonna do um then we're gonna do the the uh, C frames up vector. Then we're gonna multiply, but then we're gonna multiply by our strength one and our strength two. <clears throat> all right and now we're going to go into our mouse position function so basically if you don't know how to get the mouse position from the server side using a local script we're going to use a remote function so we can get it updating all the time <clears throat> so what we want to do here is we're going to do uh, local mouse position is going to be equal to replicate storage that events remote function invoke client and we're going to fire player through it so basically what this is going to do is get in the mouse position so we're going to go to our local script so we're going to go through our local script and basically this is where we're going to be getting our mouse position from so we're gonna get our replicate storage. We're gonna get tween service. We're gonna get our creator module, and then we're gonna do creator handler. They're basically, we're gonna be uh, creator m dot new, but basically, which is uh, creating our module. We'll start in the module, so we don't have to do too much when we do create and all the other stuff. So basically, we're gonna set up. Basically, we're just gonna set the settings uh, to uh, to accurate representation. So like this is a. Uh, so we explain this module inside of our service. So if you want to get more information about what this does, uh, just join the server. You get all the information about how to use this new module that we made. And yeah. So basically, we're gonna do on client invoke. And we're gonna fire a function, and then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna fire the player, and then we're gonna get, then we're gonna get the mouse, and then we're gonna return mouse that hit that position. So it's gonna fire the mouse once the once it invokes the client. And then what we're also going to do here is, oh, this is going to be later for when we fire all the or when we fire all the clients. So let's get back to the video. All right. So basically, we're going to get the mouse position, and then we're going to do if character dot human root part dot position minus the mouse's position dot magnitude is less than or equal to the mouse range, and then we're going to then we're going to return the new mouse range. So basically, what we're doing is we want to make sure that the mouse is is within our mouse range, so which is two fifty studs, and if it's not within two fifty studs, we're going to just do it in. In whatever we're standing at. So, in if we're standing at uh, 
we're just going to do it in place then because our position is going to be it's going to be our default position then we're going to print out of range all right now we're going to do our godspeed tool to activate so basically this is how this is how we're going to be making the little lightning effect come on us to make sure if the move is being if the move is able to be used so what we're going to do is set our debounce and get our effect on player so basically it's going to help us uh it's going to help us uh tell us if our effect player is on and if the player has the lightning if the, if the player has godspeed on them then we're going to set the um effect on equal to true and then we're going to loop through the character and basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be applying the particle to our character so we can have a good demonstration of us having godspeed so everybody in the game can also see it as well so we're going to get our aura effect and we're going to uh, just clone the aura and then we're going to do if, if it's not a base part to continue n so basically this, this is going to return all the base parts inside of the our, our it's going to return our base parts so our, our our left arm our human root part our leg and our right leg so it's going to return all our base parts and then what we're going to do here we're going to loop through the effect if we're going to loop through the uh, effect folder and then we're going to get children then what we're going to do here is we're going to uh this is the aura effect so our clone that we just had now we're going to just uh parent it to our parent it to our body part so our arm our human root part and our basically our whole body and then we're going to fire our movement function that we have up here and basically what we're going to be doing we're going to fire a humanoid and the walk speed and jump power so 50 and 55 you can change this accordingly to how you want it and then we're going to wait the duration which is up here which is going to be five seconds and then we're going to uh fire then we're going to uh make our move and go back to normal once our once we are done using the move or once our duration is finished and then we're going to uh then we're going to loop to the character's descendant so we can be able to get the particles and if it's not so uh if it's not a particle emitter then we're going to continue n which is going to return us all the particles that's inside of our character and then we're going to destroy all the particles and then we're going to do effect on player is not true so we're going to make sure that our so we're going to make sure that our moves can't be used and then we're going to make debounce play equal to true so basically what we're doing here we're trying to uh we're basically trying to uh how can i explain this we're basically trying to make sure that what effect uh, when effect player is is false we can't still use his moves so we're trying to make sure that when we actually use a move that this is actually off then we're gonna set demons then we're gonna set demons play equal to true so they can't fire it and then we're gonna do test of the late then we're gonna do cooldown plus 0.5 i'll just i put 0.5 personally for myself but you can remove this 0.5 if you don't want that extra 0.5 seconds but i just did it for myself so if you want to remove this and have the regular cooldown you can do that and our cooldown should be two seconds and then we're gonna do function but this is basically making a debounce then we're gonna do debounce player is gonna be equal to no all right now we're gonna go to the move so basically this is gonna be our move how we're making the move actually uh activate and work so we're gonna do gs then we're gonna do uh, uh basically gonna activate our our new tool you can connect function if not affect player then can return n so maybe we gotta make sure that this is actually that this is actually working or this is actually on so it's actually true and then if if we have something inside if we have this basically this is gonna be our debounce so moves dot move one player then return n we're basically making our debounce so basically what we're going to do here, we're bringing our properties for our twin. So we're going to do the mouse position dot uh, plus vector three dot new. We're going to go up 10 studs. Just change the orientation. You don't have to change the orientation, but I did it for myself. And then we're going to do twin, uh, twin v1 is going to be equal to twin dot create. And we're going to twin the human root part. And we're going to make our info. I just did it a point three. So this is basically going to be how fast we move to that certain position that we're going, our mouse is going to, or where our character is going to go to. And I just did quad because I feel like quad is just a, so you can do linear or sign. I did quad because I like quad personally. And you're going to follow properties as well. I just did it in a table format. So it's like a comma here, comma here, and nothing here. And then I'm going to find these little semi-clones right here so I can do twin v1 play. And then after the tween v1 is done, so actually after we um we finish the tween, then we're gonna make our little then we're gonna make our, 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 our variable called radius, and then we're gonna fire our clients, and we're gonna fire radius, and we're gonna fire our character human root part opposition. So basically the C frame of our so basically we're finding a position, but we're we're doing C, we're we're putting it inside C frame because C frame is more accurate than position. Then we're gonna change that C frame into into position, then we're gonna fire two as well. So we're gonna fire all the clients. So basically, this is part of our crater, our crater handler uh module. So we're gonna get the position, radius, uh, size, and true. So basically all we're doing here is returning everything here. So everything that we put in here is basically being returned back in here. So right here, so radius, which is gonna be, so radius, which is gonna be our radius of 15 and our position is gonna be two for our size. So the size of the um the, the uh, little debris blocks that our crater is being used. And then we're gonna create our overlap params. So basically, uh, basically our, our regular overlap param. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna make sure we can't see the, um. We can't see our character, so our character can't get hit. And we can't hit the uh, the base plate. And then we're gonna uh, blacklist it, and then we're gonna have max part equal to math dot hue, so we can get as much parts inside the table, and make sure we can just uh, just adjust it so we can only get the humanoids. And now we're gonna loop through the things. Now we're gonna do workspace dot get parts bound in radius, so we're gonna get a part in a certain radius from from our character. 
from actually from our, our human root part. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do character.humanrootpart.c from that position. And then basically it's going to be the position of the, the bounds and radius. And then we're going to uh, basically get the radius. And now there's a radius plus one. So you have a little, so we have a, a, a bigger radius, but I, you don't have to have the plus one. You can just have the regular radius, but that's what I did. And then you can fire the params here. So we can just have, so we can't actually fire and hit our character. And then we're going to have our value.parent. So basically we're going to check if we if it's uh if we're hitting a humanoid and we're gonna make sure that they're actually not placing the table yet and then we're gonna add them to the table and then they're gonna take 10 damage and then we're gonna apply our knockoff function which we're gonna fire value.parent and then we're gonna apply it 0.3 so the duration and then we're gonna fire the strength one and strength two and then we're gonna do apply a particle and we're gonna apply the particle on the on the uh the play that's being hit inside the radius and then we're gonna do the duration which is gonna be two and then we're gonna change the movement of the player that's getting hit and then we're gonna change it to two so they're gonna have a, a, a walk speed of two and a jump power of ten so they're gonna they're not they can still move but it's gonna be really slow and then we're gonna wait two seconds we're gonna do tap the lane we're gonna wait two seconds and then we're gonna basically reset the movement back to normal and then after that we're gonna wait the move one cooldown so the move one cooldown is gonna be equal to 0.5 seconds and then we're gonna loop through the table and we're gonna basically move all we're gonna remove um we're gonna remove everything from the table and then we're gonna set it equal to nil and then we're gonna do move one player is gonna be equal to nil so basically just resetting it back to normal so basically moving the value that parent is removing it all in general so so that's in this video i'll show you guys how to make god speed and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i really put a lot of work into this i know i know i know i'm gonna keep being consistent and i want you guys to know that i'm in college now so i'm gonna make as much time for you guys i'm gonna make some time for my work as well because i know i'm really dedicated to this and i'm really dedicated to you guys and i'm dedicated to making these quality videos for you guys and i'll try my best and i'll keep the good work i want you guys i want you guys to have a great day and stay up